Thagrosh, the Messiah. Legion epic blighted Orgron warlock. Even this most lowly vessel is made godlike in my image. Everblight speaking through Thagrosh. Everblight did not warn Thagrosh of the painful transmutation that would follow his consumption of Pyromalefic's Athnic. For the first few moments after the triumph at the Castle of the Keys, Thagrosh experienced a blend of agony and ecstasy as blighted energy suffused his being. The process of, sublim of supplanting of, of supplementing Pyromalefic's essence into Everblight's consciousness brought a host of confusing memories, sensations, and physiological changes. No longer Orgrin in the least, Thagrosh has become something the world has never seen, his form closer to and yet distinct from the dragons themselves. He has become Everblight's true avatar. Thagrosh did not defeat, does not still feel comfortable in his new flesh. His skin, bones, and sinew continue to shift as if struggling to contain the power within him. This discomfort vanishes in battle when he revels in his new strength and effortlessly evocation and the effortless evocation of blighted power. Some part of him understands his mortal flesh will ultimately fail to contain the might of dragons, but when combat is upon him, he relishes it in godlike sensations. Doubt for his future crept into the corners of his mind only in those moments when, the stand, when he stands vigil over his portent army, watching it gather, its strength ready for the next engagement. His metamorphosis came when Thagros had just begun to separate his identity from Everblight's. The Orgrun has reached an unspoken accord with his master and begun to put forth a distinctive voice as a leader of the Legion. Since he consumed Pyromalefic's Afnik, however, Everblight's presence is stronger than ever, a raging tornado of intelligence and hubris. It's as though Everblight is stirring just below the top layer of his thoughts, a vast alien presence, impatiently looking through his eyes and sometimes speaking with his tongue. Thagrosh loses himself for long hours, subsumed by the mind of the dragon. Every time he rises from its depths, he feels its gravitational pull more strongly. Dragonic temper increasingly dominates Thagrosh's mood. As the, as the dragon spreads his mind and grows in power, Thagrosh finds it increasingly difficult to restrain the impulse to let loose his full strength. He feels the fury like the touch of a searing iron that ignites the pure dragon's blood pumping through his veins. And it's not enough to be victorious. He must annihilate each foe utterly.